So when it comes to optimizing a mesh for games, it's really just a game of efficiency, trying to neutralize geometry where it's not really needed. And you could argue for this example that uh, those this geometry here, these edges going around, might be necessary if you're using vertex paint or vertex colors to uphold that data but let's just assume it's not so the question is is how would we optimize the topology for a shape like this for games assuming the shape is final well there are some compromises we can do uh, which might actually alleviate um, some other issues down the line if we to keep the shape here um, as low poly as it is uh, which we can actually improve it because of the optimizations that we're going to do. So first of all, we really, unless it's really close, we don't really need this bevel here. Uh, it's fine to be in the high poly, of course, um, but in the low poly, it's not really needed. So uh, to do that, we could just um, collapse them all, but the faces are no longer flat. So what we'll do is we will turn on um, snapping and set it to vertex and keep it on closest and as we move it we just want to hit that line there or the vertex and now it's in um, in the right position and we can just remove that edge loop there and I'm going to um, enable auto merge vertices and unless there's the actual low poly with UVs, I'd have correct face attributes on, but I don't really need them. You can also find them, the auto weld here in the top right corner. And I'm just going to edge slide all the way up. Let me just um, enable screencast and move myself up here so you can actually see in the bottom here what I'm clicking. I'm just going to edge slide all the way up, and they are going to be welding as I move, as they come into contact with other verts, they are now welded together. This is the standard where I would typically go about it to make safe merges uh, reliably. And you just want to eliminate these edges altogether. Um, this is just good practice to do um, in some regard. Uh, if you're trying to understand how all this works, just get rid of that rogue vert there. And honestly, something like this is entirely sufficient. And we can terminate that there. Because those uh, verts, those edge loops aren't going to be necessary. And this is pretty well optimized. Um, is that 56 triangles? But because we've made those improvements, we can, let's assume that we've got a little bit more in the budget, we can just bevel these. Let's just do it once. And terminate these edges, or these verts, at these corners here. <coughs> now that this won't be perfectly circular, so we're just going to use loop tools, uh, circle, just to make sure that they are indeed perfectly spaced around, and there we go. Now to get rid of this um, faceting here as well, what I'm going to do, what I typically do, is I will use Shade Smooth. You might get all these horrible artifacts here, and we need to sort these ones out as well. So now I'll just use Sharpen, which is through the hard ups, um, and then it properly sets the, the hardened edge based on angle, which is uh, set at 60 degrees, which is usually sufficient. Um, 
but typically if you're if it's a game ready mesh you would set the hard edge based on the seams uh, uv islands um, unless it's a shape that doesn't necessarily need them like if your seam here if you've unwrapped this section here um, and you've got a seam here you wouldn't necessarily need a a hard hardened edge or a sharpened edge here um, because that might create some issues there but yeah this is this would be my solution to it it's pretty straightforward uh, the, the process is just to like how do you efficiently eliminate those vertices uh, that are unnecessary um, if it doesn't add to the silhouette get rid essentially um, but that's the the general process when making uh, or optimizing geometry like this